Oh, I got a stage four honeydew list item this week. Yeah, talking like an estimated like 16 hour job. She's got me building some nightstands. Oh, if I gotta suffer, you guys gotta suffer. So let's build these things. So yeah, believe it or not, I bought all this Russell and Maple at Home Depot. They had a rack of it there for some reason. Uh, it's pretty garbage stuff though, like you really wouldn't use it for anything other paint grade. And unfortunately I don't have a joiner so I'm just running all this stuff through the, through the planer. Yeah, so the design she picked out off of Pinterest. It called for, for like a plywood case, but the kicker is it's mitered all the way around. So we all know how painful that can be. That's a 16 inch miter joint. And pretty nervous about that because it's hard to get a miter that long perfect. But what I'm thinking is this is a paint grade cabinet. So worst case scenario, if I get a joint where it kind of looks messy, I can I could fill it in and paint it and you'd never know the difference. But uh, yeah, uh, all I did is kind of cut it the rough length at the chop saw so that it's more manageable for the table saw. So let's go ahead and try to cut these miters and hope for the best. All right, so I think I'm ready to give this first cabinet a try. Uh, so what I did is tape the back of the miters like you normally would with like, say like a small jewelry box. Uh, I only got enough room to put three of the panels taped together. So I'm gonna flip it over, glue it up. Uh, I do have the advantage of being able to use brad nails here where it is a painted cabinet. So I'll do that to hold things in place until the glue dries. So wish me luck. Here, I got them together and it actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but I definitely learned from this cabinet before I went ahead and did this one. So this one here is a little bit better than that one, but this is probably the biggest gap I got right there on this one. But most of them are about as tight as this one over here. So that's really not too bad. I'm, I'm actually really happy about that. I'll be able to fill it in a little bit, sand it, and you'll never ever know the difference. So now what I need to do is put some uh, blocks in here to help give it a little bit more strength. I gotta put the back panel on and the shelf in. So that's all I'll go ahead and do now. Alright, so that pretty well wraps up the construction of the case. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but these are going to be drawers. So there's going to be two drawers in each of the cabinets. 
So on the inside, what I want to do now is put a barathane finish. And that's because I like the idea of seeing the maple on the inside and then the paint on the outside. Now there's going to be a maple edge banding what goes all the way around this. That's going to be painted the same color as the case. So what I'm thinking is barathane the inside now before the edge banding's on. That way there I could just tape that off, put the edge banding on, and then be able to paint that the right color. So that's what I'll go ahead and do now. Ethan, I know a lot of you are probably thinking right now, uh, Ryan, why would you just paint the inside of the cabinet the same color and save yourself a whole bunch of hassle? You know, like what a normal person would do, but I just like the having the inside the wood color. I've always liked that. Uh, the drawers are going to be also just fair thinned on the inside and then the color outside. I just like that contrast, so that's what I'm doing. Anyways, as you've seen, I got all the edge banding ripped out and then also planned to get all the burn marks off it. So now it's just a matter of using the chop saw to cut all the edge banding for the outside of the case. So that's what we'll go ahead and do now. Go figure she wants something done that I couldn't even finish in one video. No, I'm just joking. I'm actually enjoying this project, but uh, I am going to have to do it in two parts because there's still a fair amount of work left to do. Um, there's drawers, of course, to build for all four sections. I want to do drawer fronts made out of uh, barn wood, which I think will look really cool. And then the maple that I milled in the beginning of the video, that's four legs at the bottom, so I still have to make that. So that will be all for the next video. Um, all in all, pretty happy with the project or the way the project's going. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. I'm Ryan Dogwell. Thanks for watching.